Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 9 of the Kingdom Come Deliverance walkthrough plus all DLC as well as tips and tricks. So I'm going to confess to you, in the, at the very end of the previous episode we had actually take stealth take down a woman over there on the path back to the Ratai Mill. And that came to bite us back in the ass because when we woke up, unfortunately she'd reported our crime to the local guards. And that meant that we were wanted... So instead of paying a fine, what I did is I went back into a save file and did it from the save from where our mission, The Prey, started. I mean, like, obviously, that's not very legitimate, but it is something that you can do, and I think we've all done it as well. So on the way back, I, w I met Miller Pishek, and he actually says something to me. He said, want to bet on the, on the tourney? And that's this mission, so you can actually bet on it. So I betted the maximum amount, so I betted 100 groschen and it should give me a 500 groschen return, I hope. But let's get straight into it now, and our next mission is with Sir Hans Capon to go hunting, and yeah, he wanted us there at the crack of dawn, so we're going to be going there now. And I've also cleaned my clothes a bit. Right, so let's get straight there. It will take me a bit, a while to run there, but... But, my, but you know, put up with it. So this is so after this mission, I believe you're actually going to be getting your horse, and after that, you can then buy better horses from tradesmen as well, like the local grooms. So, so they have different stats, like they can hold more inventory weight, they can run faster, they have better stamina, they don't scare as easy. So yeah, right now I've got 3.4k. So once we've actually got a horse. And I believe it's called Pebbles. Later on, we're going to be going over to maybe the groom in Merhoyed. And we'll be buying the best horse available. Warhorse Hendra. Y Yendra? Gendra? I don't know, but it's spelled with a J, I think. So yeah, it's taken a while, but we're running over to Hans Cape on to start the Prey mission. One second. That's the wrong one. It is this, the Prey. <coughs> So on the way that I'm hoping I'm hoping that our food falls below. Right, screw it, we're eating. I hope they don't give us the uh, bloated thing in my jig. Where they put like a little pig symbol. Yay, sweet. So I'm just at 100 on everything. That is perfect. So there's actually a bonus that you guys can get. It's pretty much where if you've not starved or been or overeaten for like the last five days or something it will give you a bonus to, I think it's maybe vitality or strength or something like that but it is relevant so it's always nice to have so I think you do need to actually spend a skill point on it first and I don't think I've got it let me see if I can show you guys what it is so this is something where we do want it's as long as you remain sealed your tiredness and hunger will stay at the same level that's useful for reading as well as sleeping because when you sleep your hunger won't go down so that is great okay so it's not in there okay I don't actually know where it is but I do know that it's a skill These guys have to get up super early, but then you think that in the medieval time, where light bulbs aren't a, th aren't a thing, and they only have torches at best, like sunlight is the most important thing. So like most people these days go to bed at maybe like twelve and wake up at eight, but back then you would have risen with the sun and pretty much not gone to sleep with the sun down because obviously days are shorter in the winter. But after that, they would have been like sewing baskets and relaxing at home and doing all kinds of other. Oh, sorry, went past it. And doing just general stuff that benefits their lifestyle. Well, us, we get up late, go to bed late, and we just enjoy and relax ourselves. Hunting. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No. No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Shh. 
sure. Whatever you say. God be with you. All right, we gotta follow him. Yo, that guard must hate Hans Capon. Because Hans Capon is the guy that you don't want riding a horse. Come on, bruv, you run a horse, hurry up. I love longbows in this game. So, there's also some sheep over there that you guys can train your archery skills and your combat skills on. But obviously, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be riding right alongside Hans Capon. And he'll for sure see me if I try. It's considered a crime because the livestock aren't ours. Let's go! Yeah! Hurry up, blacksmith! Realistically, though, it harms no one because they do respawn. But all the same, you shouldn't be committing crimes. I seriously want to unhorse him so much. Yes, sir. Hanush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. <laughs> I mean, right now, all we're doing is moot is... Well, I'm running and you're lazing about on a horse. Not much of a hunt. But I guess since you have hunting dogs, we can call it one. If we must. I must so steal his sword at one point, if I can. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. Oh, we've As called I said, a minion. I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. So I'm not going to lie, the upcoming mission is going to be very boring content for you guys because we're going to be spending from like 8am or something to maybe about 7am to 12... Well, noon. Purely hunting. And that the time does pass a bit slowly in this game compared to others. So, you're going to have to watch me do that. I'm going to be enjoying myself hunting, but, yeah. I don't know if, um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scalets and, um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Luckily for us, it has us fast travel there rather than having to walk all the way. But I will say, I, pr I once actually had a bug happen and I was forced to walk all that way. <laughs> I was so sad. That's only once out of the many times I've played this game. So 
so we will actually get a lot of hunting XP and levels doing this. And we can get a bit of money as well. We'll make camp here. It's a pea bucket. Ooh, mint. Mine. Yoink. Yoink. Ooh, so yoinking that. Actually, we'll just take all the food for now. Weapons. Okay, we'll go to that first, and then we'll use the hunting arrows. You don't ever want to use long-distance arrows on animals. I mean, plainly put, you shouldn't use anything but hunting arrows on animals, because you can easily lose them in the wildlife. Also, speaking of, I forgot to do this. WH underscore PL underscore show fire cursor equals one. Because as I'm sure if you've seen my previous episodes already, that makes it so that you can still see the fire cursor when you use your bow. There we go. And we're using Capon's hunting bow right now because we beat him in the archery competition. Coming up, sir. At long last. There you go. So are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush? is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Yeah. Just so. So even... <laughs> a noble problem. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored. I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Look at <laughs> sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. Fair enough. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you just see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So... Tell me about Scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Sure, why not? No, sir. I didn't have time to count them. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. Well, couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defense? They caught us unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but it was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. I'm not a coward, if that's what you're getting at, sir. I never said you were. And I'd never let anyone call me one. Not even a noble. More honour to you. Well, never mind. Oh yeah, new speech. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. So we haven't actually done much on this day. Literally all we've done is travel up here. Let's quickly upgrade us. Oh yay, final offer. That's useful. I always need that 
one second, I'll show you the specifics. When I try to lose his patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer. Like if you, you're trying to always lower the price or raise the price on your selling or rate lower it on your buying. I'm just going to wait until dawn for the sake of the story. So it is good because you do get to save here. Ah, see, this is because we've simply... Or, okay. Mm, so that is simply because we've actually already... We've not done much today. And it is actually also very early. It's not even 8 yet. Like, what's this guy thinking? I'm going to go sh hunt a tiny bit just to screw him over. For the gills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I'll hunt one thing and then I'll go back to. I'll sleep. Because otherwise, this day, day will feel incredibly unproductive. Let's see. Where's the hare? Or maybe they'll only start spawning during the quest. I've never actually looked into that yet. Like, it's so hard to spot them because they don't have, like, health bars ahead, above their head or name tags above their head. You're literally trying to spot a hair among the overgrowth. And it is actually fairly hard, I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah, I, I suppose. Okay, no, they are spawning. There's one over there. If You like, you probably barely even saw it, or maybe not at all. It's right there. So this is the first shot that I ever made with this bow, and I managed to get the hit. See? Hunting. Sweet. Who doesn't love a hunting level? Alright, let's get rid of our... Oh no, what have I done? All right. Yeah, when you poach, it actually considers your arrow as also being stolen when you take it back. So, let's go do the quest. Because when you because when you do this quest, because Sir Hans Capon is technically the legal landowner. So he's allowed to kill animals all he wants. He pretty much owns everything in the land. Or the rights to them at least. So when we do this quest, we get given a special buff. Which which actually gives us that permission as well. So we'll just go to bed and then we'll wait until morning. Okay. So that's the latest we can sleep to. 4 a.m. I definitely do want that contemplative skill. It's a good skill. It's useful. Especially for situations like this where you just prefer your nourishment isn't going down. So, big boy over here is sleeping. One second. Okay. Okay. We'll just go until 7am. Or if he tells us to wake up or whatever it is he does. I don't know. Right, we'll cancel there. We'll, we'll eat. Yes. Now, wake up, boy. Take me hunting. Good gracious, it's Henry, champion of the Rat-Eye Tawny. Hey, at least he knows it. Sir, not now, Blacksmith. See you later. Oh. Okay, there we go. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Of course I would. Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. That is true. Certainly. By all means, Sir Hans. You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. I mean, I don't know how this guy ever actually manages to hunt, though. Like, if you look at, like compare his score at the archery range, where he barely, where most of the times he actually just fully missed that big circle your target. So I'll be showing you guys my hunting spots. They're tried and tested. 
So he does he does actually some, sometimes come over to our hunting spots as well. And when he does that, I literally just shoot his prey first because it's hilarious. So you can see that that's a hair hole. Or a hair mound, whatever it's called, I don't know. But it's somewhere a hair is either dug underground or dug out of underground. Oh, there's Hans Cape on, running into the woods over there. Oh yeah, I, I see hairs. Oh no, I missed it. That was way too high. Oh no! Ah, oh, it shows you how hard archery is in this game. Got it. Now, where's that other hair? Ah, oh, he chased it off. There it is. It's funny that he hasn't, that he isn't tracing this hair. He's like going to his hunting grounds first, or maybe he's just that confident. Oh wow, how'd I miss that one? I guess it's because my bow skill is low. Oh, I'm really not the best. Did that get, did that get, no, I didn't even get it. Darn it. That one got it at last. There's one of my arrows. Pick it up. Don't want to waste it. Now, where's the other shot that I fired? So I'm pretty sure that I shot one right in, right behind him as well. Oh, it went past him. Okay, that explains a lot. So so far we've got two hairs. He's got none. You can hear his doggos. Oi, you git! That's mine. Why are you in my hunting grounds? Screw off. So if you want, you can actually stand in front of him and he'll stop taking a shot. That's one. No, I thought that was actually going to hit. But this bow doesn't have such a big drop. That's two. Both of these are ours. Screw you, hands. So you'll notice that these are actually fairly big. So that's 0 0.2 times 18 or times 20. Sometimes it's 18, sometimes 19, sometimes 20, sometimes more. But yeah, like, once you've actually picked up a lot, you'll notice that it's very heavy in your inventory. Yeah, don't get too close, otherwise they'll start running off much faster. And that just makes it annoyingly hard. How did that one miss? Like, I swear that went straight through the leg. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Wow. Now that one missing is just embarrassing. I like, must have literally just gone straight under the leg. Right, sweet. Let's get antlers. Where's all my shorts? There's one. We missed so much. Okay, there's another. And the hair is still over there. Let's get it. I don't want it getting into those bushes because then I'll never be able to hit it. There we are. Yeah, new level in vitality. So that is another good part to poaching and hunting, lads. It's con It raises your other stats. So sadly, you're not actually going to get XP just by like shooting your bow at a target or just like a tree like that. Like that, that, that gives you nothing, no XP. It has to be either a mini game like shooting the logs on the river or at a live target. How many arrows have I got left? Four. Let's change over to that and get rid of these. Don't need them. So that's six arrows that we've already lost during hunting. It, you can lose arrows super fast in this game. Oi, Hans, go back to your hunting spot over the hill, you git. These are my lands. 
Oh, wait, that's... Oh. See, he's, he's crappy at aiming, too. Oh, he, he turned around at the last second. Another shot stolen. <laughs> I bet he hates us. There's another one. You guys are probably like, what on earth is this guy seeing right now? Like, I've played this so often that like I'm just much better at finding these now than I was at the start of the game. Well, this, when I began playing it. Alright, here's another. It was hiding in Le Bouche. Ah, he was moving too fast. He barely outrun it. There we are. Yeah, another level in hunting. See, you level up really fast during this quest. See, it's not even 8 a.m. yet, lad. So, you're unfortunately going to be watching this for a very long time. Like, how long are we actually in this by now? We're already 23 minutes in. So we may not even finish this mission before I have to end the ep episode. Yeah, like it's so hard to see your arrows. Can oh, I missed one? There it is. But now let's toss out all of this meat. That's almost 200 because you can bet for sure that by the time we're done with this quest, we'll have dropped 200 more and ended it with 200. It's a doggo. Doggo, go back to your owner. You're scaring off my hairs. There's one in the distance. Like, imagine having to hunt animals without the aiming reticle. It's just ridiculously hard. The thing is, it doesn't actually even follow the... Like, it doesn't go where your arrow's pointed either. It literally goes at the very centre of your screen. That's why it's so hard on this game. Yay, more hairs. I see three right now. I may have probably missed that. Yeah, I did. More bow levels are always good. Now, where's that other one I saw? Is he hunting it right now? Or has he literally chased it off so far that he can't even see it anymore? That's what I should be saying, broski. Like, I know there's one more that we saw, but I think he's fully scared it away. And now he just can't be bothered to go run after it. Tell me to be quiet one more time, broski. Oh. It doesn't actually let you shoot at him, though. Same with all, like, uh, quest NPCs. Right, I can't see that final one which escaped. Okay, I can see one there. Oh, just barely escaped. Oh, how did that one miss? Oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna stop trying from that angle. Did that one miss too? What the? What? Okay, what? What's going on? Man, these targets are way too small. That is ridiculous. Christ, it's embarrassing. For Pete's sake. Like, you can literally sometimes see an arrow go straight between its legs. Whew. Yeah, yeah, agility perk. Happy days. We always like agility. Let's see. Let's see that. Agility. So this perfect throw is the one that I was talking about in a previous episode. You have a better chance of throwing winning dice. Let's see. 
So what level is required? Okay, 12. I don't like taunt though because all it means is that you miss out on their gear because they'll run away from you. This I'm never going to go for. Oh, applies only to weapons that are based on agility. We don't use those so it's not even needed. So for this, we're always wearing plate armor but it's useful in the quest later on when you lose your gear. I mean, not that we ever actually dodge blows, though. We always block them and reposte them. Let's see, it's not even nine yet. Yeah, this is going to be one hell of a long mission, ladies and gentlemen. I may literally just pass time like that. I mean, we've pretty much won already, but XP is XP as far as I'm concerned. Actually, where even are we? We've definitely gone away from the road a fair bit. So the road is right there. And I can't see a single hair. Can you shut up, you dumb dog? You're scaring the hairs away. One's there. I swear I saw that just spawn. Oh, come on. Why did that suddenly... The bow dropped way too much on that one. Hiding behind a tree, you cheeky bastard. I'm going to shoot his dogs, I swear. They need to shut up. Okay, what's actually going on with this bow? Is this bow broken? I'm going to check the durability on this bow, because that is pathetic. It's 100... So why are the shots going so far under than they should be? Okay, new hunting perk. Butcher. Tanner. So that's definitely a good one because you can get skins from that. What? Are they not... Oh, they must be unkillable as well. Or our bows just dropping below their paws. Okay, no, it just goes straight through them. They're unkillable. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, but I hate it when someone speaks to me like that. Alright, so the, the, this guy has our arrows. Man, we've killed so many. Like, there's, there's hair bodies all over here. So I don't know. I might actually just pass the time, ladies and gentlemen. Simply because it's a bit unfair on you guys at this point. Because we're already 30 minutes in. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure that you guys don't like seeing this content either. And we're already at 145. And I'm sure we've won. Because we've pretty much stolen all of his kills. So we're going to find one more, kill it, and then we'll time skip. That's if we can find one more. I seriously might have killed every single hare that's ever going to spawn on this game. <laughs> Do you guys think that's even possible? Like I've just killed so many that the spawning mechanism has just been like, nope. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ending this episode here. I do apologise for the content that we've shown on this episode. It's purely been hunting. A bit boring, I know. So if you, like, so if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. We'll keep smashing it out for you. And it, please help support the channel by telling your friends, family and fellow gamers about us so they can enjoy it too. Alright, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace!